Hello everyone, I'm Trevor Crippen, Program Quality Director for District 31 Toastmasters. On March 2nd, 2021, I ran a live webinar called Free Toast Toast Easy Club Administration. Free Toast Toast is a web host service specifically for Toastmasters clubs. If you'd like to learn more about Free Toast Toast, you can go to toastmastersclubs.org slash welcome. In this session, I spoke on the different modules that you can use within the administration settings on Free Toast Toast. And I've broken up the session into multiple videos, each one focusing on a specific module. If you'd like to learn more about getting started with Free Toast Toast, check out our video called Getting Started with Free Toast Toast, created by Christine Lewis in 2019. I'll post a link in the description. In this first video, I'll talk about the website settings tools on Free Toast Toast. Take it away, me. Website settings on Free Toast Toast. So let us switch over to Free Toast Toast itself for a live demonstration. We are going to go to, this is a Free Toast Toast website that was created for Curious Toasters, which is my old corporate club that is now defunct. However, I still have access to this and I can kind of use it as a sandbox, which I think will serve our purposes really well for this particular session. First things first, there is this conception out there that you need to have administrator access to do a lot of the functions on Free Toast Toast. That is not entirely true. If the administrator does not have it set up where a lot of these functions are delegated yet, you will need the administrator or administrator access to go in and set these access settings. However, once you have this set up well, your individual officers should be able to log in under their own accounts and do all these administration console functions that fit within their role without needing the administration access. But I'm gonna show you first, if you need to set these up and don't have them set up yet as a, for your individual officers, I'll launch the admin console and it'll drop you right here into the website settings, which I'll discuss the rest of these in a bit. But there's a tab over here that says access settings. And in this, you can delegate your admin console access to individual officers so that they can take over these functions without needing to share your admin login with every single officer who wants to do anything. Really, really you should be looking to keep that administration access um, relatively limited in who you're distributing that to so that uh, you avoid any of the potential security issues that could come with sharing that information. Here is a sample, if you can see on the screen, of a way that you could lay this out. And you can really pick and choose which officers you feel it's necessary for each of these. But in this case, this is, this is an alignment that I thought was appropriate. You can give people access to change the settings and, and in fact, do this any of these features here in website settings, including changing the access settings again um, to up to three officers. I went with the VP of PR, secretary and president. And you can do the same for membership management, changing the email and contact forms, creating the custom web pages and links, running file manager, agenda settings and the dues tool. And finally, you can say which officers are allowed to create and edit new agendas. I would recommend having the president be able to do all of these things so that the president can step in for any of the officer roles in a pinch like they often have to do. And then you can see that there's often a VP whose primary role as it is to do each of these items. So the VP of PR handles a lot of managing the website of uh, creating the custom web pages, doing the email access. And you might have uh, the VP of membership who is handling membership management tools and making sure that that is run smoothly. Once you have this set up, you should not need admin access at all. And in fact, I'm just gonna log out as site admin right now 
and run the rest of this entirely from my own personal login where I am set up currently as club president. So I have access to all of these tools solely as the club officer, not as site admin. And we'll start with website settings like we were mentioned before. A quick overview of some of the functionality that you can do here. Uh, basic settings, I wanted to highlight the club name is what appears on the top banner of your website. On this case, I wanted to say Curious Toasters, the club name, but also um, identify that we were a corporate club for HMH. So that's why I put it like that. A description, you can describe sort of where you are, uh, what your group of membership is. And then particularly useful if you are looking to maximize your impact in search engines for people searching for opportunities for public speaking training is you can fill up this section with keywords for the type of things that your club is known for. You can say public speaking, leadership. You could say your corporate corporation name, either HMH or Houghton Mifflin Harcourt in this case. They're really the sky's the limit with the amount of keywords for that you want people to find your club when they are searching for those things. Next, we have website alias. I find this really useful. If you leave this blank, it's going to use your club number up in the URL. And it's very confusing to people to reach out to them and say, hey, why don't you go to 380-3772.toastmastersclubs.org? That's our website. It's much better to put something punchy there, such as, in this case, HMH or Norwood Toastmaster or Boston Advanced .toastmastersclubs.org. And that's something that you can just say out loud and people will get that, it'll stick in their mind and it's easy to write down and remember. The rest of this, I won't cover too much, but those are the things I really wanted to point out as useful here. Appearance is something that you could spend some time playing around with these. I recommend you cover all the basics first before you start playing around with the colors and the schemes here. One thing that is useful are these hide menu links options um, down below. If you, there's something on the menu that you don't find useful for your club or for your members, then go ahead and remove that particular link. So if you see here, if I wanted to get rid of the meet our members section because no one's bothered to put their profile up there, I could click save and close this and that will be disappeared from this section up there. And then the other option is if you do not wanna have the members only features and have public use website only, you can also disable these. However, because you're here and you're interested in learning about these member only features, that's probably not the option you're looking for. Here you can customize your homepage and it's helpful here to put some information about what your club is like, what your selling point is. If you're a corporate club, if there's some sort of limitation on membership, be sure to clearly identify that right off the bat. So if somebody finds you, they, they know that you're only for HMH employees and not for the broader Toastmasters community. You can also do things like add a picture or even embed a YouTube video here. So for example, if I wanted to embed Christine's video, so I can say share and get an embed code here and copy that and then go over and write a, or insert a YouTube link. Oops, let's, doesn't like whatever I did there. Embed a YouTube page so I can paste the embed code directly from YouTube there. The video will show up on the home page. I can click save and close and refresh. And now look at that, there's a video embedded right on my home page that people can click and get an idea of what my club is about. Probably wouldn't use getting started on free toast toast to sell my club, but to each their own, right? Back to website settings. And I will delete that again. 
The other one is it's important to input your meeting info directions, when you're meeting, how to get Zoom login information. So you would say, I'm meeting, at, we meet every Tuesday at eight o'clock. Here is our Zoom login info, or here's our Zoom login information, but I would recommend instead of posting it directly on the website, which will get Zoom bombers galore showing up at your meeting and causing trouble, instead have a contact address that people can reach out to there. You can add social links here, pretty easy. If I wanted to add a Facebook account here, look at that, auto-populate. District 31 Toastmasters Facebook, subscribe and like. And you can save and that will now appear on the website itself as a little Facebook icon in the social media tools on the left-hand side. Floater messages are if you have an important announcement or reminder that you wanna put on top of your website that'll always stay there. And then website statistics in and about are typically ones that you can explore if you're interested in, but I would save them for later. So that has been website settings. 